As we continue our reflections on the seven last words of Jesus, I invite you to ponder on the fifth phrase, which is, I thirst. Jesus has been on the cross for some time now and utters, I thirst. Our story tells us that he is given vinegar, assuming he is physically thirsty. He probably was, but given all that he had gone through in the last few days, I would suspect that his thirst was not only physical, but spiritual as well. He had spent his life trying to bring justice and peace and wholeness to the people. But what he got was rejection, indifference, and lack of understanding to the very end. His thirst for all these things did not leave him despite facing death on the cross. We too have a thirst for that, that comes from our souls, a thirst for love, for a sense of belonging, for caring families, for the support of friends in times of suffering, trial, failure, and distress. I think we are in one such time now. We have been separated from family and friends, and it has not been easy. I cannot tell you how many grandparents have told me how much they miss the hugs of their grandchildren. FaceTime doesn't do it for them. They thirst for the touch of family. Lent, and particularly Holy Week, are times for personal reflection, and many of us do have some extra time now. What are some things we might thirst for? Perhaps some might be thinking of times when they have hurt others through their actions or inactions or thoughtless words. Perhaps they would thirst for forgiveness and reconciliation. At a time when conflict and disagreement seem to be so prominent, some people might thirst for peace around the globe or peace in their relationships. For some, they are living in fear of what this difficult time could bring upon them. They thirst for calm and tranquility. If your soul feels empty, you may thirst for the Holy Spirit to enter and fill you up. The poor thirst for food, shelter, and work to have means to fulfill their basic needs. Women thirst for equity and justice. The marginalized thirst to be seen and heard. So as we ponder on the crucified Christ this week, I invite you to share his anguish and cry out with him, I thirst.